Hey guys, one here. Welcome to another episode of the Fallout Settlement Guide. In this one, guys, we are going to take a look at this right here, which is going to be the general store. And I'm going to make a video of showing you guys exactly how I build my stores in my settlement. Okay, so we're going to do everything from power to interior, and we will get from start to finish. So we're going to start right here instead of outside the settlement, because I'm not going to talk about anything in this video other than this build, because it will be on for quite a while, and it will most likely be my longest video of the series so far. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, this is the general store. As you can see, I've already got my settlers outside. And let me open my menu. As you could probably tell, my happiness is actually above 84, which is the highest it's ever been in the last video. And I will go over what I did to get it up. But that will be in the next episode, because I don't have time to really explain. So let's take a look on the inside. So we have, I've not changed anything. It's just exactly the way it was originally. So basically what I do for any house is I first of all go in and I clear out everything. And if I have kitchen stuff that kind of looks okay, I will keep that because there's not really that much things to replace the kitchen things. And anything else that I quite like, I will keep. Like this safe, I will keep that there most likely because it kind of looks cool and you can't build it from the menu. But everything else, these things will stay there because I might replace the toilet with a better one. Since there's a shower here, we kind of make that the bathroom anyway because we can't get rid of it. But yeah, I'm just going to go around and destroy or put in the store every single thing that's in this house, okay? And I will be doing a lot of skipping ahead, guys, in this video because it will take me around an hour, an hour and a half from start to finish. And obviously, I can't upload a video that length. I'm going to try to squeeze it all into 15 to 30 minutes max, all right? So I'm just going to go around and do all that stuff now. Okay, guys, so uh, we take a look on the inside. I have scrapped every single thing. I can't seem to get rid of this, but it doesn't make a difference because this is going to be a general store and it'll kind of be just like a regular store. This will kind of be like this, you know, there'll be one run here. This will kind of be where the people who work in the store will stand. So I'll keep that there. I'll make it work. And as you can see in all the other rooms, I've just got rid of everything except for this safe because I thought it looked pretty cool. But everything else is gone. So before I do anything on the inside, what I'm going to do is set up power and I'm also going to repair some of these walls that are broken. Okay, so a lot of people don't repair walls, but I think it makes it kind of look much better once you do. So if we take out, will we do power? No, we'll do the walls first. So if we go to uh, walls, obviously, you can choose to repair them. So what I'm going to do is decide what walls to repair. Uh, will we start over here? Yeah, we'll start here because this is kind of the most easy one to do. A lot of the time, the uh, walls will fit right in place. Okay, you don't have to do any kind of glitch or use doormats or anything to get them in. You see, look, perfect. I get in the menu so we can see. See, this is now much better looking. Obviously, I'll have to repair all that because that's I don't want to see outside. But yeah, that looks much better. I like using. If I get back at my menu, I do like using this wall here. It's just the regular shack wall. And you do get different types that fit into these, but I think it looks best. I don't know why. It just does. So what I want to do is repair this wall as well. Okay, but as you can see, this one doesn't fit in. But if you know the uh, glitch using... Let me get to decorations, floor coverings. Okay, don't forget you can do... Place it down and you get your wall back out. Just place the wall on top. If I can find where I'm going. Here we go. Place your wall on top, make sure you put it the direction you want it to go. I want those to be on the inside, outside, we'll put them on the outside. Just place your wall onto the doormat. You have to kind of figure it out. So you can place it down, let's see. And also you want to get it to be straight. Will this work? We'll see. And you can pick it up and then you can place your wall it's just so long as the doormat can be placed down. We'll place it there and see what it looks like. Uh, we'll move it over. Um, sometimes you can just pick up the doormat and it'll pick up wherever it is, but for walls, you usually have to keep your finger on A or X or whatever button it may be to pick up everything. So make sure you don't accidentally pick up your whole town, which I do quite often. Uh, obviously, this is going to take a little while for me to get to work properly. It might even be easier to do it from the outside. But that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go around and fix all these walls. 
And again, I'm just going to skip ahead. Ah, see, look, this one here, like, because it's attached to this one on the outside, you can actually place it down like that. You know, it might cover up other holes. Will it work on this side? It does, look, see? So that's kind of useful. But I'm going to fix all these and make them perfectly straight. And I will show you guys what it looks like in the end. And we will work on power. Alright guys, so I have went around and filled in all of the walls that I could. Um, I left this one open here, mainly because I can get to work without picking up my entire town. It'll still look okay. I don't really like it that much, but I will put in some furniture to fill up the gaps as much as I can. In here, this is the one that you saw me doing already. I think it looks pretty good. And this one here, I covered this up. I would spend time filling this one in, but I can again just put in some furniture fill it up. All right, guys, I want to show you a quick tip. Oh, I've missed one. Doesn't matter. I, I want to show you guys a quick tip for doing this. If you try to pick up the wall, like this one here, okay? I don't know why I always go to the side. Sometimes, I mean, you can get it to go quite close. You see what I mean? You can get it to go pretty close there, but it still kind of doesn't look right, and it's not directly in the wall. So what you can do is you can kind of make a chain of them. So and we take out our wall again, just a similar one to that. Uh, walls all the way to the end. And we will place it down around which way is this going? We'll place it down the same direction. Place it there. Okay. And when you pick up things, they always kind of pick up things also in the that are quite close to it. So if we pick up all this it's also going to pick up that wall, you see? And so what you can do is you can use that and you can place it directly inside. We get it to go straight, as straight as we can. And boom, you see that we can get exactly in line with the rest of the house. And then you can just delete this. Okay, so if you're having problems trying to get your walls to be inside your walls, you can do it that way. It worked easy for there because we have the space, but if you're doing it in a room like this, it can be a little difficult and take you quite a while to do. All right, so what we're going to do now is go on to power. Uh, what I do for power in all these houses, people always ask me what I do for power and how I kind of set up. But the best way I find is if we get out some of these power conduits, okay? And if you notice, all the way around all of these houses, there's kind of like a little lip on the edge, okay? And that allows you to place down your power conduits all the way around the house on the outside. Okay? And so you can connect up your power and the, you'll be able to reach all of the lights. This is only working for lights. You will still have to have power conduits for some things if you want them in your house. But for lights, this is how I do it. So I'm going to place these power conduits all the way around. Okay, I will have to try to figure it out. There's a piece of wood there. Let's store this. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to place them all the way around like this. If they fit, I will figure it out. That works. And this one can be all the way over there somewhere. And once I do that, I'll connect them to my main power supply, which is these power pylons. They're all connected to the generators that are in its own kind of section. So connect that one to there. And then we'll just start connecting them all the way around the house. I would say if you don't want them to be so low down hanging, you can uh, move them closer together. But you know what you mean. And um, we'll set up some light bulbs on the inside. I will show you what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to quickly go around and fill in all of these power conduits all the way around to make sure that my entire house can be lit up with light bulbs on the inside. All right, guys. So I've set up the power conduits all the way around the house. They go right around the kind of roof. And that way, whenever you put up a light bulb, you'll be able to set up, they will have power. Okay. And actually what I had to do, guys, I run out of glass, as you can see. So I had to go and steal light bulbs from, this one's lit up, but it doesn't look lit up. I had to go steal light bulbs from other buildings. But no matter. We will uh, start doing the interior, but I'm actually going to go to sleep so it's brighter, so we don't have to rely on the light bulb light. Okay guys, so we can finally get started building the interior of our general store. And what we'll do for all the rooms, we'll kind of go over them, and obviously I will show you some of the things I'll build. But I'm going to skip ahead for a lot of it, because again, it's going to take too much time to actually build as we go. And I want to do this in one episode. So, 
if we start in the back here. All right, this will be kind of like, I think maybe we'll turn this into a sort of office area. And uh, I don't want to really put a bedroom into the general store. I mean, there's plenty of houses to live in. And I've been putting in bedrooms into the other buildings, mainly because there was not really anything else to put in them. But this one, I want to turn into an office. So that's what I'm going to do in here. Um, in this one, I'm just going to turn this into a storage area because it's a general store. We can add in all the things like the Nuka-Cola machine. Uh, we can just put in some storage boxes, ice, all those type of things that kind of look cool. Similar to the uh, the food storage area. And then in here is actually going to be kind of the actual main store. And so we've got loads of different furniture that I've not used before that we can use in this. So if we go back to furniture, see if we can find some of them. Um, containers, shelves. So all these kind of magazine rack, all these kind of shelves like these, these will all fit in here really nice. And so I'm going to add these in to the general store. And obviously we need kind of like a bit more of this to make it look like, um, how to say, a kind of the uh, counter for where you'd pay for your stuff. Obviously we're not going to have any of these stores on the inside because they don't really fit in. I could get them to go in, but they kind of go through the roof. So we'll just make this look nice inside here, okay? So I will uh, skip ahead. Oh, we do have a little bathroom here as well. And we'll turn this into something, I don't know. But I will um, start decorating and I will show you guys what I come up with, all right? All right, guys, so as you can see now, the general store is now finished and I'm gonna showcase it at night so you can see all of the, it kind of adds more of an effect with all the lighting. So as you can see, I've added in some details from the outside, just this trash can here and this billboard thing right there. I don't know, it just makes it look a bit better. So let's take a look on the inside. I'll try to go as slow as possible just so you guys can see. All right, so as you can see, here is the general store. So I've added in all these shelves going right around. This is, if you work in the general store, this is where you go. You've got a little computer right here. And you can have a little smoke break right here when you're reading a magazine or something. So this is a little magazine rack right there. All right, so I'm very happy with, I managed to get these uh, vending machines right inside the walls, so that's pretty cool. Because they're kind of, uh, they kind of stick out a lot, don't they? So I'm very, very happy with what the, uh, the actual main store looks like. And uh, I hope you guys will let me know what you think of it. So if we go down this way and we look in here, we have a little storage area. Pretty typical storage area. I just like to pile things up, place them down randomly. They look pretty good. Over here, we have a bathroom. Nothing much in there, either in this Brahmin feed trough just to make it look. That's the only bath that there is. And if we go in here, I said I wasn't going to add a bathroom, but I didn't have anything to put in this room. So we made, I mean a bedroom, not bathroom. So I made the bedroom, but it looks pretty nice. And we managed, because we had this little pumpkin here, I made this where there will be like a little crib for a baby. So that looked pretty good. And uh, finally, we have the office. Hello, Piper, what are you doing in the office? I like the office the best out of this whole place. We've got like this one desk here, and then we kind of have a main desk right here. And I kept the safe, added on a little floor safe, and it looks pretty nice. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I just want to show you guys kind of like a, a brief showcase of how I set up builds in my settlement, starting from the very beginning, getting rid of all the junk, setting up the power, I didn't go into too much detail about how I set up my uh, interiors because to be honest, I don't really have any kind of method. I just kind of go with it. So for this one, it was a general store. So I obviously wanted shelving, lots of shelving. And I just placed it around all the walls. I done the thing with the doormats so I can get them as close to walls as possible. And then to be honest, I just fill up the space. So I always adding seating with a table even though it's a general store, you know, it still looks pretty nice. I want to fit in all the vending machines because they would go in a general store. So I put them into the walls again so they didn't take up too much space. And I just laid random things around, like we've got a cigarette machine here, just a computer, chairs if you're working in here. You know, just kind of think about what you'd need if you worked in this general store. So I always add in some plants to fill up the extra spaces. That would be a space there and it just makes it look really nice. And obviously just random things on the walls. So it's not too difficult to uh, design any of your interiors. And again, just do the same for any offices. You know, what do you need in an office? You need a table and chairs. Filing cabinet goes in the office. I filled in another table and chairs. And then I've got like another seating area, some shelving, 
and just some random things on the walls. So it's not too difficult to uh, come up with a design for any of your builds. And I do the same for all of them. So if you guys want to kind of follow my method, it's just the same. This one was for eating. I put in all the cooking stuff on this side, separate it with these little units, and put in a seating area with shelving, stuff in the walls, plants to fill up the space. So it's kind of the same for all of my builds, as you can tell. All of these kind of look pretty similar, but they look nice. So that's kind of the main thing. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any feedback for this build, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next episode of the Fallout Guide. I think I will be doing something relating to different settlements and setting up supply lines, something like that. All right, guys, see you next time.